I'm trying not to be too crazy. She plays my ukulele sometimes. I, you know, I've, I've got it up on the wall over there and I pull it down and she comes running after it and she starts to pluck the, the strings with her teeth. I can't tell if she loves the ukulele or if she hates it, but it's definitely one of the two. There are no, there's no halfway about it. She loves it or she hates it. My cat's name is Roma, like the tomato. She was born while in my friend's backyard in her tomato plants. My friend had uh, taken on this stray cat who was just showing up on the porch a lot. And by taking in, I mean feeding her on the front porch because she was allergic. I was coming over and helping her feed the cat. And, and we started to notice the cat's belly getting bigger. And so um, we knew she was going to have kittens. And we start, tried to set up a little nest for her under the porch. And she had none of it. And her husband at the time was really into uh, tomatoes and she wound up having the kittens in those little cages that they have for tomatoes. So he was not pleased to have kittens born in his tomato plants. I love my cat. I come home from work and I can hear her meowing from the other side of the door and so she's there to greet me and she's so excited to see me. I love having her around and I'm I'm a little bit of a crazy cat lady. I take a lot of pictures of her. I really like like having her around. She's a really good alarm clock. She knows before my alarm does when it's time to get up and so I'll open my eyes and she'll be right here. Which is sometimes terrifying if you're, <laughs> depending on what dream you're in the middle of when it happens that's kind of something but it's also kind of cute. Sometimes I'll wake up in the morning to her, her nose positioned right over my ear and she's purring really loudly and you can tell it's extremely intentional. It's time for me to get up and she's being really passive aggressive about it. She's really manipulative actually, <laughs> but that's cute too. I can say that now because I'm wide awake and it's not happening to me. likes to knock things down. I think a lot of cats do that too, but like I have all these spools of thread and I, I will find several of them on the floor every morning. I have to like open my eyes and check the floor before I walk anywhere in the morning to make sure I'm not gonna trip over spools of thread. Sometimes I'll find them on me. She'll place them there in the middle of the night. She doesn't, she doesn't seem to care too much about the actual thread on the spool. She just likes this little plastic thing that makes a noise when it hits the floor. She's got a couple toys, but she doesn't really care much about them. She likes the spools of thread the best. She does play with the yarn. She's, she does that. And she likes feathers and all those cat things. Um, ukulele strings. <laughs> how unique it is for a cat to like water. I feel like everybody thinks that cats hate water, but most of the cats I've met kind of like water. She's one of the cats that likes water. She, you know, when I come home and she's meowing like crazy, she's always trying to get me to go into the bathroom and she's like, she'll go halfway into the bathroom and then poke her head back out and keep meowing. And um, So I, and I go in there and she wants me to turn on the faucet. And she'll, she just drinks from it. She doesn't really bathe herself in it or anything, but she likes it. She'll drink water out of anything except her water dish. She's not really good with other cats. She's good with dogs, surprisingly, uh, especially big dogs, but she doesn't get along with other cats. The neighbor cat down the hall comes to visit time. sometimes. She does not like that. <laughs> but I like it. I try to introduce them, try to open the door and get them to talk to each other. It doesn't work. I get, I get haircuts for her. She's a long hair cat, so I, I get, take her to the groomer about twice a year to get her a trim. It helps with the shedding a lot. The first time I did it, I did it because I thought it would be funny. 
Um, I really wanted to see what she would look like with short hair and with a little pom-pom in the end of her tail or something, but um, turned out that it helped a lot with the shedding, so now I, I do it pretty regularly. It's all grown out now, so she's kind of looking like herself right now. Um, and she seems to like it. I don't, I'm not there when it's happening to her, so she probably hates the process, but she always seems happier when she's, you know, comes from a haircut like any girl would. I'm traveling, I I wish I could talk to her, you know, kind of miss her. I've, I've given some serious thought to maybe getting her a cell phone. Just give her a buzz, see how she's doing. When I'm sad, she knows and she's always there. She's helped me through bad breakups and she's been there just after a, a bad day at work. Nice having her around.